Hello, this is Maker J. I just thought I'd um <coughs> show what I've been doing lately. Um, I just took these uh, transformers. Um, they're all the same kind. They're from those uh, exit signs. Those ones over there. Um, but they have output here that's 13 volts. I'm not using that. And then they have three inputs. Um, or well, an input that center taps. So the white one is common, and then this one, the black one, is 120 volts. And then the the orange one is 277. I don't know why it's such a weird voltage, but so what I did is I took I found out that if you hook the 220 volt leads up to 120 volts and can you get 240 or about two maybe almost 300 volts between this 270 volt line and the ground, or right, no, actually the, this one, the 120 volts, so I get about 300 volts, so I took six of them and connected them all up so that they, well actually connect, I figured out that you could connect them in um, series to get more voltage, so I connect two of them in series, so I connected all these, so I connected like, hmm, I'm not sure how to explain this, but I connected them in series, or two, two of them, I connected two together so that they would put out 600 volts each pair and then connect those in parallel so I get 600 volts at an increased amperage of about half an amp at 600 volts. So I was just kind of <clears throat> playing around a little bit with, with it here. So it'll run this um, big fluorescent tube pretty good. So. But as you can see, well, let me turn it off. So when you turn it on, the voltage rises up pretty high, and then once it um, turns on the light, it um, actually, well, see, I think how these bulbs, they need a certain amount of voltage for the current to start flowing through them. So once that current, that amount of voltage is high enough, the, elect the um, gas atoms in there excite or whatever and let electricity flow through them and so it takes about 500, 600 volts to do that and it takes a little bit for it to um, do that and then once it does the voltage drops down because of the um, voltage drop so so it drops down to 130 volts and it's drawing 0.66 amps and then another cool thing that I found is, I don't know why it does this either, but I took this little flash tube here, xenon flash tube, um, and if I just hook it up to there, well, I've got my um, little high voltage supply connected right here, and that excites the gas in there. So if I just turn this on, the high voltage, whoop, something look, got unconnected. Okay, so if I just connect the high voltage up, well, here you can see how many volts it is. So it's not conducting at all. Once I excite this, I turn on the high voltage, it will excite. But let me first show you something else. So it's bluish. And then once I turn on the high voltage for a second, and then turn it off, now it's greenish. And I'm not sure why, if some of the electrode is getting, but then it'll disappear in a little bit. Whoa. What was that? I don't think that's good. Here's a better close-up of what it's doing. Alright, so that's just the high voltage, or the um, really high voltage to excite it. And then I'll turn on the super high voltage here. Huh, I wonder why it's glowing yellow there. Never did that before. I don't think that's good. I think these things can explode. I'm not sure. Well, thanks for watching.